What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to Toya CTV. I'm back. We are on episode four of The Last Kingdom. Now, last episode, oh my gosh, Father Baoka. Oh, I'm still hurt from that. Father Baoka, Uncle Crazy Jr. Well, he, he did deliberately kill Father Baoka. Father Baoka jumped in front of the arrow to save UJ, which is Uhtred Jr. So then after that, Uhtred went like a madman, which he have every right to. You kill uh, one of, a guy that I see as a father. He's been a father figure to me for like almost my whole life. So you about to get it. But he had to go. Finnan was there to snap him out like, we got to go. We are overpowered. We, we are outnumbered. So we got to go. So um, what happened? Oh, then we come to Edward. And Edward, everybody is in Edward's ears still trying to tell him what to do. Aetherfled, Ellswich, and Aetherham. Now, Aetherfled was like, okay, I am Mercia. I'm going to go to Mercia. But he was like, if you go to Mercia, you're going to put yourself in harm's way and Heston going to get you. She wasn't hearing none of that. She went anyway. And because she was like, we need, uh, we need, no, because Edward was like, I'm going to wait for Aether Red and we're going to join for forces and beat Heston and go fight Heston. But, of course, Heston, uh, Aether Red is on it's somewhere. He on another, oh gosh, Aether Red. He doing his own thing, okay? So, Heston and Brita... And they crew is going around wreaking havoc on all the Mercian villages. And they killing up everybody, taking everything. And Aetherred is not doing nothing. What kind of king are you, sir, that you are not doing anything um, to help your people? So, he too busy worrying about a uh, crazy man's sister. What is his name? I forgot what they said his name. It, it's a, a weird name. But he too busy trying to get crazy boy sister. And speaking of crazy boy, Edward sends a message to Aether Red to tell him about Heston. Uh, they didn't travel to Ireland or whatever. So he killed the messenger because he was like, if he, this message get back to Aether Red, Aether Red's going to kill me because I told him what um, Heston said or they were supposed to do and they didn't do it. So he killed him. His sister saw him and they both was like if if Mercia falls we have nothing left. We don't have no like they don't have land and, and money and all of that. They're just going off the name of Aetherred. So the sister I forgot her name. She had to go do what she had to do. And because Aether Red brought her a dress. And she was reluctant to even accept the gift. And he was all mad. Like, how you not going to accept the gift from me? You know how some men are when you buy them a gift? Oh, come on, phone. When you buy them, when they buy you a gift. And, and you don't, so quote unquote, appreciate it. They're going to be mad. But anywho. Um, uh, what else? So she put the dress on, went to him to seduce him. And Aether Red being who he is, he essayed her or art her, okay? And I'm like, this is not surprising from him, okay? Not surprising at all. So, um, he, like I said, art her. And I'm like, Aether Red, I thought you was going to be different this time around since you really liked her. He just wanted to have sex with her. That was it. But anywho, what else happened? Um, Ellswitch. Ed Edward is going to get Ellswitch because she is butting in. She not letting this boy rule like he want to rule or make decisions like he want to make decisions. Like I said on my last uh, reaction, if he fall... 
Let him fall. And then he'll learn his lesson. Sometimes you got to fall or fail. And then you regroup, come back better than you did before. Okay? So that's what Ellswitch need to do with Edward. So she sent Father Pierlick with a message to, I forgot, some other uh, kingdom to ask for help. And I'm like, and even Father Pierlick was like, if Edward find out, it's my head on a platter, not yours. So, uh, she was like, no, it won't happen. Girl, go, go sit down. But like I said, Edward's going to get tired of her. He's going to get tired of Ethelham too. Okay. And then what else happened? Oh, Uhtred. Uhtred, um, came across Heston. Okay, that was nothing. Uhtred made it to Ethelred, to Mercia. And he was like, what you doing here without guards? He was, she was like, well, that's neither here or there. We need to get these people and go, okay? But Heston done sent people to Mercia because they found out Aethel Fled was there without Aethel Red. So he trying to go kidnap her. But Uhtred got a Uno reverse card because Utra has Heston's sons. <laughs> so, yeah. That is going to be crazy. Excuse the yelling in the background. Okay. <laughs> but, um, yes. Yeah, so, is that it? Yes. So, if this is your first time here, welcome to Toya CTV. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a video. And enough talking. Let's get right into it. Oh, now there's some guards there. Into this world. Oh. They clothe him. Oh, that's him. all the people the that passed. Alone, they know his fate, for these children were in darkness. Now they are safe. Oh, children. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They was killing everybody. Oh, my gosh, look at all those kids. When did children become the cost of war? Come. They took their heads. Oh! The kids! They cut the kids' heads off. Oh, Heston got to die. And they're all of them. Mm. Yep. It's not a lot of them. Yes, ain't the fact get your butt back up there. What are we doing, Lord? The door will not hold. Bring me Knut's sons. Yes. There will be another way. Shut up, girl. Have Knut's sons. You're lying. Uh, show them. Uh huh. There they go. Yep. Leave this place or I will cut off the head. You harm them and every Saxon here dies. He pretend like he, uh, he didn't do it for real. Oh, that's one of the other kids. That's one of the other kids. That's one of the other kids that's already dead. I know Uchi didn't do this for real. Uh-huh. Good plan, Uchi. No, keep them. Knut will find us. This is now our fight. It was our fight from the moment you took those boys from Heston North. Which is the fastest road to Teton North? Oh, Lord. So, so those other people staying there? Oh, this King Harold. Don't fear the beast. He's being fed. <laughs> is he like strangers? Okay. <laughs> Alfred's actions have bitten Edward on the ass. So, can a army of slaughtering all in their path? Yes, under his banner. 
so we could all bow to him. He wanted to conquer, not unite the faith. Mm. But unless that faith is now under threat. What are Edward's plans? Mercians are gathering at Tettenhall. There are plans for Wessex to join them. And what would I get in return in this holy war against the pagans? What is it you want? The spoils of battle. All of them. Every last piece of Danish silver. That is not a promise I have the authority to make. Uh oh. Are you gonna do it? Oh Lord, Father Pulik. See, Ellswood's got Father Pulik in a bind. The settlements that surrounded are resisting, Lord, but we will prevail. I should hope so. I want all of East Anglia, or our bargain does not hold. Uh oh, see. <laughs> Ask me nothing of the detail. It's a favor to you, not to him. It is enough that humbling me has lifted his spirits. Mm-hmm. I've done my part, brother. Now you do yours. He ain't gonna do it. He is not gonna do it. I just hope she ain't pregnant. <laughs> and what's the bad news? You are clearly waiting to deliver bad news. I regret to tell you that Canute's armies have raided Mercia and taken your palace at Aylesbury. Oh. My spy in the Danish camp was certain he swore it was true. Heston is a close ally of... Did you say Heston? Yes, well, he's a close ally. I, he I forgot Heston told him that. Oh, Redster. That's right. I hated you. Heston did tell him that. Gave your whore of a sister the chance to restore your family. And this is how you repay. A whore of a sister. So now my wife is heading to battle before me so that she can be revered as the savior of my kingdom. How in the name of God is that supposed to cheer me? I'm just saying that there is a plan. Please do not execute me. You will pray for execution. When we return to Aylesburg, I will publicly castrate you. Oh my gosh. Your sister will never leave my bed. Oh! Really? So that's how you repay him? I'm gonna just have, keep, keep having sex with your sister. That's how I'm gonna repay you. Ain't the red is so stupid. Cannot stand him. And then he go Ailes Witch. Oh, they know. They know, they know. He know. Yep. Do not lie to me, mother. We have spies in every call from here to Rome. Have you asked Howell for help? Knut wants us to march on his terms. It is a trap you have walked into. But Howell is a Christian. And God wants us to be united. Howell serves no one but his own people. Oh, right. In going to him, you have made Wessex look divided. Canute will hear of it and think we are weak. Like it or not, Ethelfled has forced your hand. So I trade the life of Wessex soldiers for my own honor. That is what the soldiers are there for. If you wanted men to speak your name in awe, believe me, this was not the way. It's gonna say something. Oh no, he is mad, mad. Elswitz, girl, your son gonna have you thrown in jail or somewhere. I know you think just cause he Christian, he gonna do what is right under like what Alfred wanted. No, he's probably not. It is Beowulf returning with Alfred's little bitch. Nope. <laughs> with some news you're not gonna like. Where is Ethelflep? She escaped. Ultra Dragnus on his Nilsburg. He had your sons with him. Heston appears to have traded them for his life. Will you let my sons live? 
Dude, you proud to die. Who trades my head to your hands, son? I knew it. Yep. I knew it. And when he see both his sons alive, he really gonna lose it. Oh gosh. These two picking up where they left off. Panting and kissing. That's what the uh, <laughs> That's what the captions say. <laughs> deny yourself the day before a fight. It gives me strength. <laughs> so she going to the battle? Oh Hey the flat I fear for you girl because every woman that get with con uh you Utrid either dying or leaving. He does not need divine guidance. He just needs to listen to those of us that know the cost of battle. Oh Isn't God. Him? Yes. Lady Elswith was seen visiting Edward's bastard at the monastery. Uh oh. She arranged a reunion between the boy and his mother. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord. Oh what is he? Aethelham gonna do something. Do what I must. Trust me. I have not come this far to be thwarted by a bitter widow. Oh. Even though I'm like Ellswit, I, I, Ectoham, shut up. I'm not sure I can see Edward's come. I'm not sure I can see anyone. Right. He will be here. No, he is not. He's not. He's not coming. Uh oh. I'm not bold. Uh -huh. Certainly not little. No. Your mother. I know you have summoned Knut, but you can still turn away with honor. No one would condemn you for leaving an unfair fight. Do I tell my men? Uh oh. Tell them your brother's close behind us. Oh, he came? Oh, okay. I thought I heard a ho another horse. Oh, well, that's places to defend. A few more men. It's not a chance. Uh oh. He see something? What, what, what? Oh, he got an idea. Utu, what is your plan? Woo! They got a lot of men. Oh. Oh. Okay, what about you, Jay? He don't know how to fight like that? All right, UJ, what you gonna do? We saw you had a little fight in you, but you about to be in a real fight. Something isn't right. Canoe don't care. What trap he has? What trap does Utra have? Plan. 
they put grass and branches over that trench. Where where can do that? Oh yes! Oh Cedric, Cedric! Oh! Oh, Brita, Brita! Oh, is she pregnant? Oh, Brita! Oh my God! You take, you take! No, no, no! Yes! Woo! Get up! Oh, he said father. The ridge. Oh! Is that Edward? Is Ethel Red? Oh, -hoo -hoo! I did not think Ethel Red was coming at all. Okay, they got a chance now. They got a chance. <gasps> and they go Edward! Fights alongside Ethelfred. Mercy on Fjords, her husband. Christians united. Go! What your father wanted. Uh-huh. Come on, Ethelfred. No, 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 no. There are too many of them. No! No, Edward, 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 Edward. No, don't do it. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Edward, Edward, Edward. No, 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 no. I can't, yes. Where's Edward? Where's Edward? Yes. Woo Who did that? Edward. You better save your sister. <laughs> yes! Come on! Come on! Come on, Edward! And stay up. Come on, come on! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! No, stay up! No, no! Edward, save him! My gosh. This is a battle. Pure chaos, blood, guts, head, getting chopped. Ooh. Ethel Red. You better get up. Why am I rooting for you? Ooh, his head. Ooh, his head. Y'all got the wrong one. Y'all got the wrong one. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. He is not about to die. Brita. Oh. She heard that. She heard that. Uh huh. She hearing all of that. She about to kill you. She's not giving it to you. Cause you killed Ragnar. Uh huh. Because we're destined to be together. You know this. Yep, and you're gone. And she pregnant with your child. Yep, what you thought, Canute? <laughs> you thought she was gonna be forgiving? Your boys live. Ooh. The body your man saw was mercy and killed by Danish hands. Now he about to bleed out. Bye, Canute. Now next is Heston. 
No, no, no. Utrid? Utrid. Utrid, where you at? Send me to Manalo. Be with Ragnar, please, oh my gosh. Please. If you're gonna do it. Take the pagan bitch. Oh he couldn't do it. You have done all Christians proud. It is an honor to meet you. And I am pleased you were able to meet Oh yeah, he wasn't even out there. Conveyed to me your kind offer of the spoils of battle. Of course. Let us be united in prosperity and security. The triumph is all yours. You led us to a great victory. They will speak of for years to come. And I thank you. I am alive to see it. Thank you. If it were not for you, I would be amongst the dead. I came despite my better judgment. Mm -hmm. I do not take your defiance lightly. Oh. You seek to be loved by all. Chronicled for your bravery, no matter if it costs the blood of men. I suggest you do not return south for a long time. Oh! You should not exile me from Winchester. I fear you would not be welcome there. You shut up, Aethelham! I have been made to look a fool. Unable to reward my own men paying tribute to the Welsh. This will be made right. I've half killed myself fighting. I will find him and I will beg him. You will never forgive us for what we have done. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's right. His head. Ooh. You can see, like, oh my gosh. He, he is bad. He is wounded bad. Oh my gosh. All right, folks. So that was episode four. And it was like, it was, it was the great battle. Okay. So, Aethelham. Okay. Aethelham has found out that Elswitch went to the monastery to talk to Edward's first wife and reunite her with her son. I'm like, oh gosh, this is not good. So, <sighs> Ooh, excuse me. So he's telling his daughter to um try to get get um get pregnant from him and have another son which she don't know if she's gonna have another son or not but he is saying that uh and he is saying what else did he say that she will not come around or something i think he's gonna do something to the mother and the son the, he gets on my nerves. Ugh. So, um, and then, what else happened? Ugh, I knew it. Elswitch is in trouble. Edward is so mad at her. And I understand she was like, they're Christians. They will want to unite the kingdoms. Just because he's Christian don't mean he have good morals. And, and 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 standards and gonna be by your side no and but good thing King Howell did that's because King Pier Father Pierlick promised him the spoils of war all the spoils of war and uh and I'm like Edward don't be mad at Pierlick because your mother is the reason for all of this but anyway, so, um, so it was Aethel fled and Uhtred and them. Then it was King How Harold, and it was Edward and Aethelred's crew. I was like, so everybody came together. I did not think Aethelred was going to be there at all. Not at all. But, uh, Erd Erdwolf did tell him, like, this will be a great thing if you go. 
it will be in your advantage. So that's why he went. Um, then Uhtred. So instead of leaving, Aethelflaed wanted to give the kids that were freaking beheaded by the Danes. I'm like, come on, y'all. Y'all have no sympathy for even kids. Like, I know y'all killing everybody, but did y'all have to cut their heads off? Really, children? So, when uh, Heston's people, not Heston's, Canute people came and they were like, give up the girl or everybody dies here. Give up Aether fled. Everybody gonna die. Huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. Pump your brakes. Hold your horses. We have Canute's sons. Oh, we don't believe you. Okay, we're going to show, show you them with knives to their throats. And then he, Uchra was like, I will cut their heads off. I knew right then. I was like, Uchra is not going to really cut this child's head off. He, gonna, he got a plan. He going to use. I knew it. I was like, he going to use one of the kids that's already got their head chopped off. And, and made it seem like he, he killed them. So now, they think that he uh, killed one of the kids. So, of course, he goes back to kill Canute. Canute kills him, like I thought. And now Canute is on a rampage. Oh, which he have every right to because he thinks his son is dead. And so, um, you know, he's on a rampage. He's ready to go for war. Everybody meet up for battle. And this is a battle. Like, a battle, battle. Okay? In the end... Canute is dead because um, him and Uhtred was fighting. And he said, why'd you kill my son? He said, to revenge Ragnar because you killed him. As they were talking about that, Brita comes and hears him. And once Uhtred let Canute go, I knew she was going to kill him. You killed her husband for your sake because you wanted y'all two to be together. So you put a bug and Aetherwall's ear so that he could go and kill Ragnar first before Ragnar is so-called gonna come and kill you. So Canute is dead. Next is Heston because Heston gets on my nerves. But if they kill Heston then who's gonna be the next uh threat? Because we got a whole nother season. This is just episode four of season four. We still got season the rest of season four and five. <clears throat> So I know another threat is going to come along. Um, and so Edward is mad as Aethel fled, telling her don't come back to Wessex. And uh, Aethel Red is badly injured. His, it looked like his brain was exposed. Like, that's not easy to come, come from. So Erdwolf and his sister may be in the clear. Because if they leave, while eighth eighth red is down, they in the clear. But they won't have anything. That's the thing. They won't have nothing. But anywho, what else happened? What else happened? Oh, Uchre. Uchre wanted to freaking talk to Dangon uh Edward. But no, Uchre, don't go talk to Edward because that'd be another argument, fight, or whatever. But yes, like I said, this was a battle. So Ooh. Oh, excuse me. Ah. So, if you made it to the end of this video, go ahead and hit that. Oh, no, wait. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching to the end. I greatly appreciate it. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a video. Comment, comment, comment like you do. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok at herstyles with the Z15. And don't forget to keep being you, doing you, for you. All right, folks. I'll see you on the next one. God bless.